Hey, 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 Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of The Mediator with me, your host, Brian West, here to give you the top eight headlines in developing news stories that made it in this week. As usual, I'll give you the top eight local news stories that made it in first. Then I may do a movie clip, a skit, or something that's going on in the community. Then I'll give you the top eight international news stories that made it in this week. So you can stand for them. So let's waste no time. Let's get to it. Story number one, sleeping on safe traveling. Are we sleeping? Local roadways and interstates have been making quite a few headlines in the past two years. This time, a car flipped over on Route 680 in Boardman. This is one amongst many headlines related to travel safety. Now, drivers, along with other traveling methods, must use proper safety protocol to protect themselves and other drivers. Uh, such headlines prove that the world still has a safety problem. Story number two, keep an eye on your children. Now, in the fear of COVID-19, it can be easy to let your children out of your sight by letting them go over a friend's house or relative's house. Salem police are now looking for a 14-year-old girl who has come up missing. There have been multiple reports and cases of children being molested, raped, and some of these cases have been locally. Now, these reports are making headlines because people are becoming more aware on how these incidents develop. Now, in this day and age, it may be wise to keep an eye on your children. Story number three. Local communities are still in a drug war. In a bullet-riddled house, Youngstown police found digital scales with white powder on them. There have been multiple headlines in the local news section lately centered around drug raids and bust. This shows that the drug war is still far from over locally and abroad. Story number four, colleges are taking notice. Now, with all this talk about student debt and forgiveness programs, colleges are taking notice of their students' finances. In the midst of COVID-19, Grove City College is increasing scholarship awards to assist families and students. Students should also be aware that some schools have accepted financial help from the government. The aid is granted for the betterment of the student's education. This may be a good time for students to get a better deal on their education. Always make sure that you as a student, if you're watching, understand what your financial aid advisor is telling you. Story number five. Local nursing homes may never be the same. A COVID-19 strike team is set to assist two Youngstown nursing homes. Many area nursing homes have had to adjust to these unusual ways of preventing outbreaks at their facilities. Nursing facilities were some of the first on the radar in the battle to contain the COVID-19 disease. Story number six. Drug-heavy communities still have gun and crime problems that don't seem to be going away. Police were occupied at a home on Randolph Street off of Salt Springs Road on the west side. They found gun shell casings in the front of a house along with bullet holes through the home. But no one was present. Multiple stories of dead bodies turning up and people being killed have been in the headlines for the last few weeks. A man also reportedly shot himself in the leg on the south side. Such stories show that many local areas are still battling with crime. Story number seven and the top two local news stories that made it this week. Stories that you may want to be aware of. The state has its fingers crossed while planning to reopen. Even with a high approval rating from the state in the handling of COVID-19, Mike DeWine and tons of other local officials have their fingers crossed as the state plans to slowly reopen. Although there are still some businesses not on the list to reopen, some feel that medical professionals should have enough information and data that they didn't have before to make the right decisions in regards to opening things back up. That means everybody may just have to stand in line and wait to their turn to reopen. Story number eight in the top local news story that made it in this week. Levy's graduation and education to be continued. With the suspension of the school year, it is key to note that seven local school districts needed passage of a new school levy this week. 
and the turnout was pretty low for the voting due to coronavirus adjustments. School districts must also focus on how to handle graduation without putting students' health in danger this year. Big task. Due to the importance of education in the early years of life, this story made it to the top this week. I wish all the graduates best of luck and hopefully, hopefully things turn out well for you. Now, those are our top eight local news stories that made it in this week. Don't go anywhere. You're in the mediator with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is if you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. It goes to the website. It's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method8inc.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program.